them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Ari? Why is Ari working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going on, and that was like weekly maintenance. And now it's been, what, two years? God damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you and we're not here to stay! Oh God, let us in! <sighs> no, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out too? We don't know that they've mm. locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that? Yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Dean, up. That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. Yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Agent Fire! You were saying? Yeah. Well, this world is top of anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alert. Yeah, please give me fire. Do whatever you can. Distract them. Got it. I'll send you a clear. Hey, you gotta clear this out. You shoot those goddamn speakers. Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Morning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. Coming. Alert. Alert. Hold on. 
Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override, Alert. ID 2007659, override. Alarm. Security Multiple protocol shots have been alpha 761 security has been overridden. The maintenance building. Shut the door. They must not have locked out inner security. You I got a use for you. Warning. For use against Would all you trespassers. Okay. It's on the hurt! Shit. It's the worst. this? I see him. Alert. Alert. 911. Come on. There's more of them! You stay now! See ya! ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Yeah. Get through! Get through! Get this goddamn door locked out! Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's Alert. changed. Alert. 911 has been called. That's Police actually... are on their way. Stand yeah, on and it. will not be harmed. Clear in here. Nothing here. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. We're taking this photo. Huh. It's clear. Same here. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. <laughs> Deadly force is authorized. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Alert. Alert. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Bitch. Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh, yeah, you got one? Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm going to go in from here. I'm going to take them by surprise. Okay, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? <laughs> Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. <clears throat> what? Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. Alert. From this station, Alert. I can get you a temporary Alert. access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Alert. Yeah, let's go. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on.
Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. Until I get their attention, then you go the in. Are on their way. Hey, Stand don't take any chances. Up. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. I saw someone. Jim Moore! Look out! I know you're in there! Thank you. Answer me, goddammit! Deacon Lee St. John. I ID 5429009. Good morning. Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Clover Hill. She's up there! Facility. Is your first to go down like this. Please disable voice response. Come on, get her! Damn it, Jim, listen to me! Here we go. Oh, the hell with you! You should have left when you had the chance! Police are on their way. We got this. Stand down and you will not. At last. One more. I saw Jim go scurrying into the office up there. <sighs> right here. I'll bring him to you. Hands! Don't shoot! Hands! Don't shoot! I give up! Get I give up. up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh god damn it! I said hands! All right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families? Maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. about God this is my fault I, I don't understand your I should fault. have seen it when it first went in I mean we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here and then all of this changed they sealed everything off they took away my clearance God David kept telling me he kept telling me that something was wrong okay okay who's, who's David so David Gorman he was this research intern 
you know, when I said I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone, then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I classified don't know. Classified project, just he slow wanted, down. And... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I... I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected, and he didn't even know it yet. Oh, my God. And two days later, two days later, Everybody at that conference was infected, and then they all got on planes, and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Hey, uh, hold on for a second. Sir. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse, is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think he could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Bastards. This will work. Now I just gotta jimmy that door. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't, I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was me and I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer.
Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, Dave? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a- I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this- Did you find her? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I found her. <sighs> Ricky? I'm glad, Dave. You were right, we made it. I'm glad she did, too. Dave? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um... Could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go, Ricky. But you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering... Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. It's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Of soaking wet. Excuse me. I never thought I'd get warm again. Yeah. Do you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call me? Come here. Come here.
a problem. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Hey, what are you doing here? Hello. How's it going, Sal? Same as yesterday, same as tomorrow if I had to... Corporal? Okay. Be well. Go. Go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. <coughs> Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man, Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, sure. our sure. only yeah. doctor, yeah. cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Corporal, what's happening? Hey, Corporal. Hey, man. Hey, sir. Hey, man. 
I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Corporal, see you, man. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. Ha! This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. Corporal, the colonel wants Taylor alive. Copy that. St. John out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. No one's laughing What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys? An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. Yeah, they fostered something. Marauder camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. Don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. But they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland from Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope? Maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking inside Cloverdale and you got... St. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver. I'm here. Uh, hey. I'm calling you, man. Listen, I never said thank you. for helping me out. And look... Just following orders. Well, I'm gonna thank you anyway. I really appreciate you going out and shit. Just give me that for me. All right, Taylor. What the hell are you doing out here? Okay, let's take a look around. All right, where? Still got that. Colonel, reporting in. Corporal. Down you go! Okay, what were you saying? Corporal, yes. Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. I did. <laughs> okay, uh, you were saying? Corporal, yes. Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. We'll have his fair trial tomorrow. And then we'll hang him at dusk. Fair trial? Of course. Every man deserves a fair trial. And then a fair hanging by the neck until dead. Uh, yes, fair trial. Then, uh, but right, anyway, just reporting in, St. John.
doing, St. John? How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... The dog was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. <laughs> hey, look. Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself all the fuck standing at attention and they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't want to. I don't want to. Please. Don't let them hit me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. And the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. You never leave him for the freaks. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Sarah, I need to talk to you. 
Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. Sound cheerful. I had a breakthrough. All I needed was that DNA sequence, sir. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow. Okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Okay. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Deacon, come in. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker. So I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Weaver's weapon. Hurry out. Oh, shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. All right. You're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hand -off. I've been running blood tests on several vehicles for months. I need them for this. Hey, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know. Just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. You little shit. Oh, Jesus. Fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. <sighs> Come on, help me. <sighs> so much for the tranquilizer. Yeah, well, their biology's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. 
how long? Hold on, just a few seconds. Oh, shit. What you put in that? That shit went down fast. God damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my god! Are you, are you are you trying to cure it? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus, and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought and we won. And what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're gonna dig into their research deeper. do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know, if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.
Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh. Bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen. This is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. All right. I figured that you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh, all right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. Shit goes south. You ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> I've got more Molotovs, ammo, in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. <laughs> What's this? Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to pop up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks and buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. Once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Oh, good luck, St. John. Hawk's oh, got nothing to do with it. Copy that. Thanks. 
Weaver's Molotov works. I can see the flames from here. Let it dance! More to come! That's me for you. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Come on, you son of a bitch! Light him up! I can see him from here! Are you there? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker and she's not answering. 
Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. did it. You did it. Uh, Weaver did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, the way you were one step ahead of him. Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, sorry, Lieutenant, but you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit them up. Oh, man! We're going to celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm going to catch up with you. I got I to gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are... Irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's been a... Walk with me, son. Please. Those orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. Eddie's cup. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you, Lieutenant. You can't... Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Man, I got the uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I think. Yes, ma'am. St. John, this is Captain Curry, come in. I'm here, Captain. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean, and there might be a promotion in your future. Yes, sir. Curry out. Important project? What project? Now that's a gun. Yeah, okay. Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. 
Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal, it's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got okay, it. then. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project uh -huh. that I'm working it's on. It's going down in there. We'll have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. I'm gonna need some shotgun What's ammo. Up? Burn out the nests. I'm gonna need Molotovs. Hey. Okay. 